Hello and welcome to another episode of Hooks and Dice. I'm Leila Kroka. Winter has decided to headbutt fall, so we're going to be in this room until the spring. And I still have to run the fan because it's hot as heck in here. I don't know what it is. Maybe the neighbors run their heaters up high and it comes through from their floor up to ours. But this bedroom is always roasting hot, so I have my fan going. So it'll be a little noisy and I apologize for that. The storage cubes that I bought turned out to be exactly what I needed. I was able to organize my art room, and I was able to do some art in it. Woo! Art in the art room! Fancy that. Um, I made some Mad Hatter hats for my daughter's homecoming dance, and they turned out amazingly. And the cubes are nice and big. They stack well without the shelving unit. You know, they, the shelving unit would be nice, but it's expensive, so... Um, having just the cubes is good enough and they were only five dollars each so I highly recommend them <coughs> excuse me um, you can only find them in stores apparently well, I'm sure you can find them on other sites but they're going to be more expensive than the five dollars each that I paid for them um, found them in Walmart so check the uh, the furniture aisle is where I would look it's in different places in different Walmarts, but check the furniture, the home furnishings, um, home decorating, that sort of thing. You'll find them hopefully there. Um, we are up to four members now besides myself in Quincy Hooks and Dice. I did try to host a Halloween party, but no one wanted to come. So I went to Idaho for a friend's party. That's why I wasn't on last week. And the week before that, the crud got me. Greyhound more than doubled the price to get there and back from what it was a year ago, so I was gouged. That was the most expensive Halloween party I've ever attended. I haven't made the last two patterns for you to me yet. Uh, with my daughter's musical, the Halloween party, and some voice acting I've been doing, I haven't been able to set, set aside time for it. I could force myself to set aside time for it, but there are just other things that are higher on the list of priorities. And I want to get the Day of the Dead handbag finished. I know I missed the Day of the Dead, but it's still going to be a pretty bag. Um, this is the skull motif. And I'm making two colors of marigolds. So they'll, let me see if I can kind of do that. They'll be the skull surrounded by the flowers on a black fabric. I'm wearing black today, so it's perfect. It shows you the fabric. But... Um, the skulls will be decorated like sugar skulls with embroidery, so they'll have colorful decorations all around the eyes and nose and teeth. And then I'll be sewing them together and sewing them onto some black cotton fabric and then adding the handle, of course. And like I said, I'm going to try and do a copper handle uh, with the wire that I have. I've got two colors of copper, really bright copper, and it's not faded. It's not oxidized. It's just a different color of copper. So um, I think it'll look really nice with the two colors of marigolds that I have. I think copper is a really nice, really nice color choice for the handle. Um, I'm still debating. I'm, I'm going to probably offer the bag on Etsy, but I'm still debating whether or not to offer the pattern itself for sale. I based both motifs off of other people's motifs, so I probably won't offer the pattern itself. I prefer not to have to worry about people crying foul if I didn't alter the patterns enough to satisfy, you know, fair use. Um, I started out my Friday campaign again, and one of our viewers had a cameo in the game. That was a lot of fun. He was a unicorn. <laughs> it's a shame he can't play with us on a regular basis, but of course work comes first, so uh, thank, you, thank you, John, for joining us. Uh, that was a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully you can pop your head in again at some point, and I, I think Clue Giver is a good way to bring you in, because that way it doesn't depend on having your character with us every week. And they won't have to come back to that character and deal with them again when you're not available to play. So hopefully that'll work out. We'll see how things go for you with your schedule and um, what you want to do. 
as per usual, you guys didn't go where I hoped you would, so I had to make a couple of maps on the fly while you guys were battling things and fighting other creatures and such. I was making maps and putting on tokens and just, I wasn't prepared. You know, I thought I would be, but then you guys went somewhere else uh, ahead of schedule, so I had to do that. But I have the rest of this week to uh, finish preparing for this week's campaign, so uh, I'll be more prepared this Friday. With winter setting in, I'll be knee-deep in crocheting and sewing. I'm determined to finish the My Little Pony pixel blanket that I, that I started for my best friend. I want to finish that before the end of the year. And I have a picnic blanket, well, it's a white and blue checkered blanket that's meant to look like a picnic blanket, and a large ant carrying a slice of watermelon on its back with a big old grin on its face. It's super cute. I can't wait to show you guys. And I'm making that for a friend. I also want to make the mermaid tail blanket that I'm making for that same friend. I have some pretty scale-like sequins that I want to use. I watched a tutorial on how to crochet scale mail, and the technique would work for putting the sequins on the tail as well. My fiancé showed me something neat about Lackey for playing Magic the Gathering. You can right-click your opponent's name and do a number of things, one of which is load a recent deck to their library. And this allows you to share decks without having to share the file, and it saves you time and space. Uh, we like to build decks, play them against each other, play them against old decks, and then swap the new decks and play them against each other that way. So it's a lot of fun. It's a great way to share the decks that you've built to try them out. See, mm, yeah, most of the time I lose. It doesn't matter what kind of deck I build, I lose with it. And so I, it's always interesting to see if it's just me playing it that's not working, or if it's the synergies that I didn't get quite right, or combination thereof, or if it's just bad luck of the draw with the cards, like not getting the mana I need, or getting too much mana and not enough critters. It could be any number of things, but it's awesome to have him try out my deck and see if he can make it work. And he usually can. <laughs> so anyway, um, I will have more to show you guys next week. Thanks for watching and have a great day.